Hey there, this is Andrew bringing you another Keyforge deck reveal and review. This is going to be a Worlds Collide deck. This is one of six that I traded with a friend for. So, a uh, local friend. By the way, I think by the time I publish this, he will have gone to the Vacaville Prime and hopefully won it. But, uh, anyway, best of luck to him. By now I'll probably know. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Sarian, I like to see that. Star, oh, we got both the new houses, Sarian and Star Alliance. What do I want? with this. I mean, I think I want Logos, but I have enough Sorry, and Star Alliance Logos, but I, I wouldn't mind more. Uh, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind anything, really. Um, Legacy Control of the Week. Oh, Shadows, hey. Alright. That could be pretty cool. This is uh, Calavist, or maybe Calavist, I think Calavist, Hall Diplomat. And, um, so in Sarian, I'm hoping for board and maybe some Amber Control. Star Alliance, uh, cool plays, combos, maybe deck acceleration. And in Shadows, I'm looking for some damage spread, maybe, along with Steel. Um, yeah, there are definitely, there are some cool combos that I have yet to open in Shadows. I open them here, I think I'd be extra happy. And let's, uh, let's see, it'll be, well, these are all S's. So it'll be Saurian first, I think. Yeah. Ooh, all right, Legatus Raptor, four power dinosaur soldier with one armor. After it fights, you may exalt it, and if you do, you're ready and use another friendly creature. Two of those, nice. Uh, oh, this could be really interesting with the shadows. Yeah, we'll have to see how that works out. Odoak, like to see that. Odoak the Patrician, five power dinosaur politician with play capture one. And while Odoak the Patrician has amber on it, your amber cannot be stolen. Phalanx Strike, action with a bonus amber. When you play it, you choose a creature, you deal one damage to it for each friendly creature and you may exalt a friendly creature to repeat the preceding effect. Good board control there. Retor Gallim, three power dinosaur philosopher. With play, your opponent's keys cost plus three during their next turn. And reap, you may exalt Retor Gallim. If you do, your opponent's keys cost plus three during their next turn. Ooh, Senator Shrix. This is a four power dinosaur politician with one armor. And you can spend Amber on Senator Shrix as if it were in your pool. When you play or reap with Senator Shrix, you may exalt him. Really good target for that uh, Phalanx Strike uh, exalt. Because you get to spend off of him. Also a good target for Golden Spiral. Golden Spiral is an artifact and location. And you can, uh, you can exhaust it to exalt a friendly creature. And you ready and use that creature. Very nice. Draco Preco is a four power dinosaur politician. After it reaps, you may exalt it, and if you do, you choose a house and enrage each creature of that house. Uh, good, good reap hate. Um, really only going to make me very happy if my opponent just has lots of tiny creatures, I guess. Oh, exile, interesting. It's an action with a bonus amber, and after you play it, you give control of a friendly creature to your opponent. That could be really good if, I mean, if you have a turn where you like Golden Spiral, the Legatus Raptor, Phalanx Strike to put something on it, and then exile it, like, that could be pretty okay. Oh, Calipigian Ideal. Whoa. Uh, it's an upgrade. When you play it, you exalt the creature, and the creature gains you may spend Amber on it as if it were in your pool. Uh, also really good for, like, Draco Preco or Gallim or Legatus Raptor things that like to exalt themselves. Oh, and this is one I haven't opened yet. It's a, a Tertiate. It is an action with a bonus amber, and you destroy one-third of all enemy creatures and one-third of all friendly creatures, rounding up each time. That is pretty cool. Two of those. Wow, interesting. Okay. All right. 
Uh, that yeah, that's pretty interesting. And ooh, the tertiate with exile could be pretty good because you get to control which creatures die. Wow. Hmm. All right. Let's look at the shadows. We have hit and run. Now uh, there are some shadow stuff with capture. I wouldn't mind that. I would love to get some capture and star alliance to go with the Shrix, the Calipigian ideal, and the exile. So hit and run is an action that uh, deals two damage to a creature, and then you return a friendly creature to your hand. Hawk is an action with a bonus amber. When you play it, you destroy an artifact, and if you do, you gain an amber. Hugger Mugger, that's some capture. Three power elf thief with elusive. Play capture one, then if your opponent has more forged keys than you, steal one. Mug is an action with a bonus amber. When you play it, you move one damage, one amber from a creature to your pool, and you deal two damage to that creature. Wow, that's more, uh, more capture exploit. That's great. That's really good with the Saryan. Pestering Blow, action with a bonus amber. Deal one to a creature and enrage it. Ronnie Risk Clocks, two power elf thief with play steal one. If your opponent has seven or more, steal two instead. Uh, that is really good with the hit and run because we can do two damage to something and replay Ronnie. Uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. Then we have Trust No One. It's an action with play steal one. If there are no friendly creatures in play, instead steal one for each house represented among enemy creatures to a maximum of three. Two of those. Interesting. Oubliette. Play Purge a creature with power three or lower. Special Delivery is an artifact with a bonus amber. It's, a, it's an item and it has Omni. You sacrifice it. You deal three damage to a flank creature and if this damage destroys that creature, purge it. Ooh, and Settle Mall Artifact. Uh, and weapon when uh, you can exhaust it to make your opponent discard a random card from their hand. Okay. Well, that is uh, only two Shadows creatures. Wow. Not a lot of Shadows creatures, but uh, good cards. Um, a good amount of steel and amber generation as well. So I'm liking that. As well as some good synergy with the Saryans. Oh, oh, wow. That's not it for Shadows. Oh, we got a Maverick. We got a Maverick. Pan Paka Jaga. So that's a three power beast with skirmish and creatures to the left of Pan Paka Jaga in the battle line gain skirmish. Cool. Uh, that's, I mean, that doesn't really help us out with our shadows lineup, but it'll be really good for the Legatus Raptors. I like that. Really good for the Legatus Raptors. Ooh, cool. And with two Legatus Raptors and a Pan Paka Jaga out, I mean, you'll, you'll hit rule of six if you want. All right, let's look at Star Alliance. Chief Engineer Walls is a two-power human with elusive and play fight reap. You may return an upgrade or robot card from your discard pile to your hand. So far, um, we haven't seen a ton of upgrades, but we did have the Calipigian Ideal. Uh, so that might be good to get back. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a great card, so that could be good. Commander Chan, four power human with fight reap, use another friendly creature. And that you can chain that with the Legatus Raptor, right? Reap with this, fight with the Legatus Raptor, exalt the Legatus Raptor, use something else. That could be pretty insane. Two of those, cool. Explo Rover is a three power robot with skirmish, but it can be played as an upgrade instead of a creature with the text, this creature gains skirmish. Uh, Lieutenant Kirker is a five power alien hand you hand with Taunt and Hazardous 3. Nice for protecting, uh, maybe like protecting the Shrix or the Retor Gallum. Those are nice to protect. Red Alert is an action that says play if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures. Deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. Uh, that's really good for coming back from you know, being behind on board state, two of those. And really, I think that's it's possible we get good value out of it because we have a good amount of creatures in Star Alliance and Saurian, but not a crazy amount and not huge things and only three creatures in Shadows. Good. I think two red alerts is fine. Three would have been a little too much, but two is probably going to work out here. 
Sensor Chief Garcia is a 3 power human with Play Fight Reap. Keys cost plus 2 amber during your opponent's next turn. Good amber cost, uh, key cost control there. Stealth Mode is an action with a bonus amber. Uh, after you play it, your opponent cannot play action cards during their next turn. That is really strong. Two of those, that's a great effect. Then we have Calvin, who's a 2 power robot with 1 armor. And... Fight, reap, draw a card, but it can be played as an upgrade instead of a creature, and then gives the thing it's attached to. Fight, reap, draw a card. And lastly, we have Special Agent Fingers, who's a one power elf thief with elusive and action steal one. Uh, yeah, that is good. I mean, okay, let's look. Let's look what we have here. First of all, nothing big, right? We, our biggest creature is power five, and we don't have any ways to increase our creature's power. So we're a little we're a little wimpy. We do have the two red alerts that can help us come back uh, from being behind on board state. We have Pimpaka Jaga to give our things skirmish if if it can stay out. Uh, Oubliette and special delivery could help a bit. And trust no one also if we just get behind on board state then steel three is pretty good. Uh, pretty good steal overall. And then, you know, the only thing is if we can have enough board state to get good value out of the Calipigian Ideal, great. Oh yeah, Tertiate is also a good semi-board wipe. But um, if we're just like, you know, it's not going to work out to do the Calipigian Ideal uh, because our creatures aren't going to stay on the board long enough we can always throw a bunch of amber on something and then exile it and uh, and kill it. So I think, wow, there's some interesting options here. Um, almost no amber control in Sarian. There is, oh, there's the key cost control with Red or Gallon, and then there is the, uh, that it? Well, there's the one capture on Odoac as well as the your opponent can't steal from you. Uh, however, I mean, if you have Special Agent Fingers out and Legatus Raptor, you can exalt the Legatus Raptor to steal, to ready and use to steal. So, if you have two Legatus Raptors, this, maybe, maybe this out here to give them skirmish, you know, you... Fight, exalt it, steal. Fight, exalt it, ready, steal. Golden Spiral. Fight, exalt, ready, steal. This now is like triple exalted, and that's when you throw Calipigian Ideal on it or something. So, uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff that could happen here. Um... I like it. I like that. I think this is maybe my favorite Shadows deck that I've opened so far in Worlds Collide. I haven't been too thrilled with them, but I feel like this has a lot going for it. Um, decent board control, not through dominating the board, just through killing stuff. Uh, and a way to get some good steals in, potentially. Uh, so yeah, that was in, in good house cheating in all, uh, well, in both Star Alliance and Sarian. Uh, yeah, and cool options. So anyway, that was Calavist Hall Diplomat. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this, and that you'll get out and forge some keys.